Hey, there's my driver. It's been an extremely rough ride with very little hope of seeing more elephants. So a total of the boat. Four. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. Hey, look at this. They haven't seen shit. Elephant crossing right in front of us. We have to stop. You're viewing Travels with Lobo, vlog number 15 in the series Three Weeks in Sri Lanka. This week I'm coming to you from Sigria and we're on an elephant safari. In this vlog, I'll be covering the following topics. You can scrub along on the timeline to get to any topic that might interest you. In the end, it wasn't uh, about the elephants. Uh, it was about all the other things around it. If you're here only for the elephants, then click on 849 and you'll see elephants and also Barbara's vlog from Tanzania. It's great. Yes, my driver with that great smile. Uh, this guy took me out there on the elephant safari for over two hours. Did he give it the old college try? I'd have to conclude, wow, he tried. He tried, he tried, he tried. Was the result worth it? Well, you decide. I still can't make up my mind. But I am glad I only paid 50 US dollars instead of 100, as was originally planned. It all happened so fast. I was supposed to have an elephant safari tour the next day for 100 US dollars, but I had an afternoon free, so I, I, I walked around and I found this driver who offered me a, a three-hour tour for $50. Hey, that's a good deal. But I had no idea of the geographics and the possibilities. Now, there is Minaria National Park over here, known for its elephants. As you can see, it gets a rating of 4.6 on TripAdvisor, and it has that famous photo of the herds of elephants by the lake, but that only happens from May to October, and I wasn't there at that but time. But I ended up at Hurulu Echo Park. Like I say, I had no idea of the geographics, so total surprise. And all of this is very close to Sigria Rock, uh, the vlog I did last week. TripAdvisor Hunulu Park is 4 and uh, the National Park is 4.6. What I don't know is uh, if I would have paid $100 the next day, would I have ended up at Hurulu or would I have ended up at the National Park? I don't know. It's more or less the same, I think. I was starting to wonder whether the driver took my money for the entry fee to the park and left me holding the bag, so to speak. Uh, I see a lot of other vehicles around. It's going to be a very crowded day. It's a national holiday in Sri Lanka. Uh, I walked up there to have a look and there's a long lineup of drivers waiting to buy admission. Other than that, the keys of the truck are in there, near my pocket. So that truck's going nowhere and neither am I. So let's be optimistic. So we're almost ready to go. The roof is off. Driver's there. And there's quite a hold up for the driver to get the permits, to get the uh, park permit. There's some information about the elephants. If you can read sing singles, you're in luck. And, of course, the elephants in Sri Lanka are distinguished by that smattering of pink on their trunk. How beautiful. I seem to be going bushwhacking now. Oh, I see there's a vehicle ahead. I see uh, other people there and there. Mountains off of the background. Can you imagine spotting elephants in this environment? That's insane. Look at this, look at this jostling here. This is really getting 
getting into the grass, so to speak. Wow. There is a vehicle ahead of us. That's good news. Oh, jeez. Several vehicles over there. So off in the distance there, in the deep grass, you can see an elephant there. Wow. We're kind of stuck in the mud here, backing up. Maybe to take a run or go a different way. I think go a different way. Wow. You got to be skillful to be a driver here. Peacock, just like in uh, Beacon Hill Park in Victoria, my neighborhood. They're there by the uh, tens. Beautiful birds. I bet they're a lot happier here. It's been an extremely rough ride with very little hope of seeing more elephants. So I total of the boat. Four. Oh my god, it's unbelievable. Looks like a good place for elephants to hang out. But I don't know. Man alive, this is... Well, you can imagine what this is like when it's during the wet season. It must not come in here. As I'm clinging on for dear life. Okay. <laughs> nice. Watch for the crocodiles. Ah, smooth road. <laughs> Nothing to complain about. Look at that elephant grass. What elephant wouldn't like to eat that? They're all. Already. Look how packed in those people are. And there's our great driver. <laughs> Look at that. Time for the break. <laughs> Remember, there's no road here. They just drive. Assuming there's no water back there. And that guy. Look at this. They haven't seen shit. They think they oh, oh, they're seeing something. Ah, look, elephants, finally, right there. Three of them, see? Really seems like nobody knows where to go. They're all... This is... Okay, it's no longer about the elephants, that's for sure. It's, it's all about the... Uh, the massive congregation here and drivers walking off looking at the mud there's my driver way up there the guy in the olive t-shirt my driver doing this thing again <laughs> You're okay? so there that's about as close as we get to elephants right there that's pretty good front shot front shot there. There's a whole herd there. But this one I could get best. So finally a little bit of uh, elephant action off in the distance. Huge animals with large ears just chomping down on the vegetation. And it's kind of exciting to see that. Uh, I would have liked to have been closer but that's as good as it got. And, uh, yeah, you'd like to see an elephant take sand and flip it over its body. That's just what you like to see, and that's what we saw here. 
This was kind of a highlight right here. This is about as good as it got on this particular safari. Since as good as it got was not really that good, uh, let me show you something good. And here's uh, some footage of uh, the video that Barbara did on a safari in Tanzania. You'll find that in our Tanzania playlist. So here we are, driving in Tarangir National Park, looking for our first wild animal. Speed bumps. Elephant crossing right in front of us. We have to stop. Oh, some more coming. I don't know where they're gonna cross. You can hear the grass rustling. The paws are in a heavy set. There's more on the other side of the road. I think we're in this guy's way here. Yeah. I think you'll agree with me that uh, having looked at Barber's footage of Tanzania, there's no comparison. Uh, and also in Tanzania, the uh, panoply of other wild animals that she saw there was just phenomenal, contrary to here. At the end of the day, we uh, ended up in a lookout point that overlooks the whole area, and it was rather nice. Now, thank you for joining me. And please check back next Friday for another installment of Sri Lanka three-week discovery tour. And there's one more vlog from Sigria.